Welcome to the Eastern Block here on Lumpen Radio, 105.5 FM in Chicago. Bringing you radio, not radiation. Here with us today, Chicago-based artist Edwin Dave. Hello, Edwin, how are you? Hello, uh, good, how are you? Good, Sarah? thank you for joining me on this special day. I know that you just released um, something that we're going to get into in a little bit, but for those who don't know who Edwin Dave is, Edwin Dave's the artist. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you got started in music and arts and modeling as well, bodybuilding or health training, yes? Yes. Tell all me all of it. All of the above. All <laughs> of the above, yeah. Thank you for having me. Of course. Uh, I've been an artist in Chicago for uh, over a decade. Uh, I started actually uh, in music, though, way before that, uh, when I was living in uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, however, I was born in Dominican Republic, but in San Juan, Puerto Rico, that's where I started uh, singing uh, in church. Uh, I actually, I was, at the beginning, forced <laughs> literally to uh, get in front uh, in, in, in the pulpit and, and sing about God, the Bible, um, and that's how I started in music. Uh, I, I hated it, but music actually uh, gave me sort of a gateway to also uh, express myself uh, and <coughs> as a kid that's, that's what I started in, in church uh, fast forward uh, three years later I uh, moved to Chicago and with my family and that's when I decided to get into music a little bit more more serious more professionally uh, I started writing lyrics uh, and then also performing uh, with solo projects and also and also with with uh, a band that uh, I had with a future passion, and uh, that's how uh, music came about here in the city. Um, uh, let me ask you, how or what was the decision for you and your family to move to Chicago from uh, such beautiful <laughs> tropical environment to the cold, cold of the Midwest? Well, my, my dad landed a job here uh, as, um, as a preacher, mm -hmm. uh, so their family who had just uh, migrated from Dominican Republic and then uh, to Puerto Rico and then also did the same to Chicago. So that, that's, that's how we all came to, to Chicago. Uh, so that, that's why we, we came here. Are, is your family still based here in Chicago? Yes. You they love are. it? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Once you came here, I know that you were practicing um, church music, um, music revolving around your, that religion, right? What was the music that inspired you to take your own path? Um, it was always uh, always electronic music. Electronic music to me, um, many people might say like just dance music, but to me it's more like, it's more of a, a very, very intrinsic. Uh, however, I combine electronic music with um, lyrics that uh, are very introspective. So that, that might sound maybe like a, a juxtaposition of like two different opposites, two so different things, but I combine them, um, and that's that's how I, I that's what so like uh, inspire me to to get into into that kind of music, that kind of uh, craft. A big impact on me, and it made me question everything, everything, everything. Which is one of the things that I I'm, I'm thankful for when it comes to 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 church. <laughs> when it comes to the way that I was brought up, it's one of the things that, that it was like I put kind of kind of like turn a negative into a positive in a way because I. Um, decided to, to, to search, to seek, to ask myself, question myself, uh, what else is there? Is, is what I was taught in church or growing up, is, is that really true? It's like, why, uh, you know, I feel like asking yourself all these questions is, is, is very important, not, not just from a, an artist's perspective, but also as a human, as, as being yeah. a human. You have to ask, continually to ask yourself things that you are uh, taught as a child as an individual, mm -hmm. you have to continually to ask, ask, ask yourself. That's great, I think um, doing that, it's, it's a scary, I think, for a lot of people to face themselves and figure out who am I, why am I here, what am I doing, what do I want to do, and it takes a lifetime to keep asking those questions, and we never stop asking questions, which I think is great. And I love that you embrace that side of your life growing up, which you said you turned a negative into a positive, or maybe just turn um, 
this uh, curiosity of why are we doing things into something artistic. And you've developed your own style, your own sound. When you first decided to go into music and start working with electronic music particularly, how how was that? How did you know where to go? Or did you already know how to play an instrument? Where did you seek out this information and these things to like, I'm going to start here, this is what I need to get, and this is how I'm going to go into the music community in Chicago? How did that go? Um, I, I took... Uh, piano lessons when I was when I was a kid and a little bit of um, acoustic guitar, but uh, to me my my forte what what I was really always gravitated to was uh, lyrics words. Uh, so that's that was actually my my main uh, what I grabbed on uh, for. Uh, but uh, for uh, starting now, I I used to actually be work at, at this club uh, which is called called Sonotech, um, and I remember Sonotech. I miss it. I, mean, I, I really miss it too. <laughs> Did you? Do you know Joe Brill? Oh yes, of yes, course. yes. yes. <laughs> uh, one of the DJs there, uh, Anthony Nicholson. Uh, I actually approached him. That was the first person that I approached, and, uh, and I said, "Well, um, I want to uh, work on music. Help me out here. I, I have lyrics. How about we do something together? How about we collaborate?" And and, and then he told me, "Sure, come to my house and let's start working on, on something." And, and that's so. That's how I sort of like started. And that's how I started actually working working on, on music. But I, I always knew there was something about electronic music that always uh, called my attention, always. What is it about electronic music? Is it just the beat or that you can dance to it? Um, because I know a lot of um, people from Latin America, we, we all love electronic music, but there's something about the dance beat and, and that kind of sound. Were there artists that you were... Um, looking to emulate a little bit or to sound like a little bit or that inspired you to keep going in electronic format? I, I appreciate all different types of music, uh, but um, it was a bit, it had to do a bit with, uh, with the dancing, with the dancing, uh, with just like, just like, uh, tr to me it was kind of, kind of like getting into a trance, if you will, in a, in a way. Uh, and, and, and that's sort of like, that's how I really, um, started but um also there were some artists that i really uh looked up to which actually were um uh fat gadget is one of them uh this might sound like a cliche but uh, also well it's a depeche mode is uh, artists that i really that i really inspire inspired by uh but i, I discovered that later on in life uh, to me to me it uh, my path has always about being self-discover like, every every time i, I I write uh, lyrics, or every time I do a project, it's, it's about also learning. So through through learning through each song, through learning through each uh, uh, lyric writing, that's, that's I, I also discover things that caught my attention, and, and that's, that's also a, a part of my path as well as an artist, so like self-discover. Nice. Um, why don't we listen to something from your repertoire of music? I'm on your band camp. Is there a song that you can think of that we should play right now and then come back and talk about your documentary? Which one do you think? Um, Psycho the Ballad actually is, is one, of, uh, one, of, uh, one of my favorite songs that I released uh, recently, actually. And, uh, Tell me about the artwork for this and also um, what is this song about? Um, well, uh, the artwork um, was actually uh, by uh, another Chicago-based artist, uh, Jetty Lewis. She uh, did the artwork for, for this particular song. Uh, we also collaborated on a, on a music video. Uh, when, I, when I thought about the song, um, I was actually really into um, searching about, learning about psychedelics. Um, and and that's how. And I, what did you find out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 keep, I'm keep learning about it. You know, it's like um, I it kind of like it's something that uh, sort of like opened my mind in in many different aspects. And um, but it, it, in particular, this song was about like uh, uh, having sex uh, while uh, while on psychedelics. Uh, but it, it's nothing that I experienced. But uh, I was looking through that. Um, as I would say, no pos wow. <laughs> no pos wow, yes, yes, yes. Um, but then I, I, that was the main idea, and, I, and then I started just like writing lyrics, and, 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 and that's how that, that song came about, Psycho to Ballad. So that, that's where you get the a, a PSY, Psych. Mm -hmm. 
Psychoed Ballad. This is Psychoed Ballad from Edwin Days, our guest today at Enchufate on Lumpen Radio. We'll be right back. You started making music, electronic music. You got into the whole groove of the city and the kind of places where you could perform. What was your first performance like? Were you nervous? How did that feel? How many songs did you have? And what did you wear? Well, um, one of my f first performances uh, was actually a house party. A yeah, house party. Uh, it was uh, a Halloween party. Uh, and it was, uh, it was very memorable because actually one of the dad of one of the guys who was hosting the party had just, had just passed away uh, just minutes before I was about to go on. Literally, so um, it was something that was very like you know you can imagine how they were. So they were about to cancel the party, but the party went on, and I uh, performed. Um, I and it was a it was a very um, a minimal minimal look. Like it had some black leggings and uh, also like a, a vest, uh, shirt, uh, no shirt, and just like uh, makeup on. And it was just, uh, but I had a really cool set of lights. Uh, but from that party, actually. Uh, um, a promoter saw me there and then invited me to uh, play at the Aragon, which didn't, uh, the, that concert did not happen because uh, Bellanova canceled. I was supposed to open for Bellanova. So, so, for, so from one thing led to another and just many, many other things. Uh, but yeah, that's, that was one of my first uh, performances in Chicago, yes. Nice. If you're wondering why I asked him what he was wearing is because uh, Edwin Days is uh, not only a musician, but he's also... A uh, creator and artist who um, puts on an entire performance, including um, the outfits he wears. I don't know if you would call them not costumes, but just your fashion and your style that you um, use to to go with your music. Where does that come from? Where does your sense of style come from? Well, uh, believe it or not, actually, a lot of the uh, looks from my performances, phot photography as well, videos, uh, I collaborate with many uh, with different. Um, fashion designers. Mm -hmm. Some are Chicago based, others are not Chicago based. Uh, but I've always think that, of course, I, I want to be a, a performer. Well, I'm a performer that uh, likes to have a theatrics into it as well. You yes. know, just something visual, not yeah. just uh, stand up there and sing, but uh, have something that uh, whoever's watching the show can, can sort of like. Uh, gravitates to it as well. So it's like the visual aspect, the sound aspect, the, it's all that comes together in play when it comes to, to my performances, to my show. So, but yeah, it's, it's mainly col collaborative mm -hmm. uh, with other designers. Uh, and, uh, of course, I, I, I like to, I have a say in it yeah. and make sure that I, I like what, what I'm wearing. Yes. Uh, but, yes, it, it's, always, it's always a collaboration. Many, many, uh, many brains together mm -hmm. work better, I feel. Teamwork. True. Teamwork. Yes. Um, I remember watching a performance of yours. I don't remember the name of the bar. Maybe it was the Charleston, but it was with Vogs at V O G D S. Yes. He also has a particular sense of style that's uh, very out there, very theatric, dramatic, and I think the both of you went really well together for that show. So. Congratulations on all these collaborations. Thank you. So, how do we get here? I see on your um, on your list of, of music, you have many singles and um, EPs out, and now we've come to a point where I don't know if this is your first, but your mini documentary you titled Seeker, which goes perfectly with what it is you do with your music. You continue asking and seeking and digging deeper into yourself yes? yes and into music and into that continues evolving and every single sound and visual and video and um is something reflecting something new that you've discovered about yourself tell me why you decided to put this out there well i um i want to i always think about about that all the time <laughs> uh, and I, I and that's one of the things that inspire me that Dying because like what, what if I'm not here tomorrow? Like what's gonna happen? Uh, so I want I feel like I want to leave something behind. You know, like, I feel like I feel like this is my part of who I am. And if I was to die tomorrow, uh, <laughs> I want other people that may, may not know my music now uh, to know who who I who I was. Um, and and I decided to put this short docu uh, about uh, my my music, about my art, which is part of like uh, biography. It's part. Um, behind the scenes from different videos um, and also uh, a bit of 
um, my collaborations and work. I decided to put that just to to leave leave it out there, leave it out there, and just share something of of my work. Um, and also, and also, I, I think about other artists all the time as well that maybe uh, also maybe struggling or trying to find a voice or trying to put their work out there and they have hesitations or they are uh, not doing it because of, I don't know, uh, what social media may think of them or, uh, or just X, X reason. But I also think about they inspire other people just to, to do what they want to do, really, to, to seek and, and, and be who they are, really. How does one, what is your um, advice for people who have an artistic um, side to them, but they are afraid of what others will think? They're afraid of, I mean, it's not easy to be a public figure nowadays, especially with, you know, uh, keyboard warriors out there and people who are trolls online. And it, it's something that you can't necessarily get away from. But how do you cope with that, with people who are being hard or being too critical in a negative way? What would you say to these these people? Well, I, I really, uh, I don't pay attention. <laughs> yeah, just don't pay attention. As simple as that. As simple as that. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, it, it, there was a point where I, I, I saw like that, um, just it bothered me. And, but really, uh, it's, about, it's about finding your own voice. It's about, uh, it's about finding your own voice within, because in, in my case, it's really an extension of who I am. And if you're always going to base your, your, who you are or your art uh, in other people, then you're always going to be their puppet. You're always going to be lost. So you have to really find it within yourself uh, and just, just power through and just, and just put your, your work out there and just keep, 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 um, keep doing your best and just explore and learn and, and keep looking for inspiration uh, because that's, when, that's what's going to get you uh, to really express yourself and explore, explore yourself and keep learning about yourself, about your art, about your craft. Keep, keep exploring, keep learning, keep going. With with this, uh, with you mentioning collaborations, part of that is uh, knowing who to trust and who's giving you the right advice and who's lifting you up, right? Yes. Because we don't know. How do you how do you know who you can rely on and depend on and look for support? Well, I definitely uh, get to know them first. You, you have to get to know people first before you you collaborate with them. Uh, I, I bring uh, a Chicago based uh, studio who just relocated to uh, LA, uh, but uh, Vem Studios. I, I've I've, the, uh, I've made a few videos with them, and uh, they're not just my collaborators, but they're also my friends. Uh, so I, I've always I think it's very important to get to know the people you're working with, not just not just base it on like oh this, this is going to look cool and it's going to be it's going to be a great collaboration. Yes. Uh, just based on, on and just getting to know your your collaborators, like what what are they about? What are they genuine? Are they legit? Are they are they there to really lift you up, or are they going to drag you down, or or they're going to just just get to know them, get to know them, get to know them? That's true. Yes. Um, spend the time, be present, and get to know other people around you. And I think that's how you create a community of also fellow artists and people that think the same way as you, and you start. Um, Becoming uplifted with them. Yes, yes. Seeker is just one of the first, um, or maybe the first release that you've had this year? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. So where can people find it? Uh, people can find it on my uh, YouTube page. So if okay. you go to uh, Edwin uh, Days, mm -hmm. you can actually go on my YouTube channel and you can see the short documentary uh, Seeker. Yes. Seeker, are you going to expand this documentary into something like a feature length or a longer film? I think it should. I think, I think, <laughs> I think it definitely should. should. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, when you ask me, you ask me like, this is something that you want to just, uh, just a, a release of something else, or something else in the future. Like, yeah, I think it definitely should because I feel like this is just like a really a mini capsule of 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 time of, of yes. what I've what I've really what I've done in Chicago because I from all the collaborations people mm -hmm. that I've projects that I have so yeah I think it definitely should uh, lengthen yes <laughs> definitely yes if you're just tuning in we're talking to Edwin Days he just released a short documentary titled Seeker it's about his path as an artist and he hopes to inspire other people who are seeking to put their artwork out there maybe they're afraid maybe they're just hesitant and he says don't hesitate do it now 
tomorrow might be too late. So yes. might as well do it now. Correct. Right? Do it, do it, do it, do, do it. it. <laughs> We're almost out of time. Um, it went by quickly, right? It flew by. I know. Wow. It feels like five minutes. So I want to close out our set with a, another song. I have I have one here, but I want you to tell me which one you would like to listen to. Which one do you have? Tell me, tell me. I have Earth is a Dancer. Play that one. Yes. Love that, that one. one. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, thank you, Edwin, for joining us today here on Enchufate. Where can people find more of your work? And when is your next event? Do you have one? Uh, not as of yet. Okay. Probably for uh, later on in spring, summer. Okay. Uh, people can find my music uh, in all, on all streaming platforms, uh, uh, Edwin Days. Mm-hmm. Um, and also you can find it on my Instagram, uh, as I mentioned, also in my YouTube channel. Uh, yes, so um, um, all those uh, places all you can find me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> have you performed at Latinx at Navy Pier? I have not. You have not. I think you should. I think I, I should. I think it's about time. We're putting it out there into the universe. Edwin Days to perform at Latinx soon. And with that, we are saying goodbye. Thank you for tuning in to Enchufate every second and fourth Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. I'm Sandra Trevino, and I leave you with one of Edwin Day's songs, Earth is a Dancer. And um, anything else you would like to say, Edwin, before we say goodbye? Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. And um, just to um, say that anybody that wants to do what they want to do with the art, just do it. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Don't pay attention to others. Just do it. Don't pay attention to others. Exactly. (laughs) Thank you for tuning in. This is Edwin Days with Earth as a Dancer. Thank you.